Yet she, like every other being, benefits from the assistance of higher frequencies, which offer a loving hand to help raise her vibrations and continue her evolution. I would suggest that a root chakra uh, cleansing would be good for you as well, as well as... Um, they have meditation videos on YouTube as well. If I remember to put it in the comments, I will. Or if I didn't, you can always put it on there and I'll put it in there. But it's a video for, or a meditation for going back to your past childhood experiences and being able to take back your power basically in those instances being able to reparent yourself in a way so that you can feel safe and secure in and of yourself even with everything that you've been through so that you can release it and find that grounding you are here to have your spiritual journey in a human body part of that process will involve sharing your light with the earth itself this may see you taking on the role of a healer a guide a mentor or a teacher to others on this path and you know what? You wouldn't have that either if it wasn't for what you went through. It may see you doing work with the natural world, with various earth-centered causes, such as conservation and animal welfare, organic or biodynamic farming and ethical food production, or even possibly working with children in some sort of manner as well, is what that makes me think of, especially with what the topic is, or other survivors. It may involve an active prayer life that is ongoing through your day, praying for assistance, compassion, clearing, and blessings when you see an accident on the road, an animal or a person who seems to be suffering, or an item on the news that you know needs light and healing. From the most obvious of gestures to the more subtle, the oracle tells you that you are powerful enough to make meaningful contributions to the quality of consciousness upon our earth, raising the energetic vibrations. <laughs> Earth asks you to do your work with quiet confidence and dedication, to work hard because you will get through it, and to know that you will get through it. She gives thanks for all that you have done and acknowledges her love for you. She will support you in your work by providing material means for you whilst you are here on this planet. These include financial support, housing, food, and human and animal relationships. She will also provide guidance for your progress, opportunities to grow, and expand your field of influence, education, and training opportunities. The means to take advantage of them and a chance to apply what you have learned in a real-world context. The more you devote yourself to your task of earth healing, the more the earth will support you and fulfilling your inspired goals. If you have been wondering if the spiritual work that you are doing is making a contribution, take this oracle as a validation that it definitely is. As you raise your vibrations, it raises the vibrations of the collective as well. What you are doing matters. Yes, you are going to expand and grow in the work that you're doing and the impact that you have on the world because you are capable of that. Not to mention a lot of times we don't realize how big of an effect we really have on the world around us. I actually had somebody come to me recently and tell me how much I meant to them in their life and it was crazy because I really didn't even think I made that big of an impact on this person but I meant that much to them. I had somebody a couple months ago that got in contact with me and when I didn't remember who they were they were really upset but it was because I had impacted them so much but I have really since I was 14 I have talked to thousands of people. I've helped thousands of people through problems that they were going through, and I don't remember every single one of them. He did look slightly familiar, but I really wasn't quite sure where I met him. And so I asked, and he got a little upset. But you know, I also didn't take that personally because that was just him being upset because I didn't remember him because you know, he might have some security issues around his own self-worth. But that was just an example of, you know, how much you affect people around you. And I have a feeling that you do that as well, that you affect so many people and you don't even know it. She will also provide guidance for your progress and opportunities to grow and expand your field of influence, education, and training opportunities. That means to take advantage of them and the chance to apply what you have learned in a real-world context. The more that you devote yourself to your task of earth healing, the more the earth will support you in fulfilling your inspired goals. If you have been wondering if the spiritual work that you're doing is making a contribution, take this as a validation it is. Boy, I read a lot of that over again. <laughs> But you are already helping in ways that you may not even realize, and the earth and the spiritual worlds do realize this. You have the lo loved the earth enough to take human form and to do your work here. You chose this life before you got here, and if you couldn't face it, it wouldn't have been put in your lap either. She knows it will. 
or she knows it and she will reward you richly for it. Keep working, shining, and growing, dear one. Your presence here is so needed and so honored. I'm going to sage for just a second here. Just to cleanse the air a bit. takes a minute to get that going. And we also have, these are qualities that you wouldn't have if it wasn't for what you went through. You are a true friend, loyal, honest, and respectful, and you defend those you love as well, probably with a very fierce passion too. You always work hard and strive to do your best no matter what the situation is. So because of everything you've been through, you know you have this deep inner strength and you put it to use in your life. You do not give up, period. Choose joy, compassion, and forgiveness in dealing with others and yourself. Free your heart from the wounds of the past. Heart chakra. Yeah, being able to... I think that that one video I was talking about earlier would really be very good for you. I'll see if I can find it and put it in the description. I actually have in my playlist, I have a lot of those meditations saved as well. So really being, once again, able to forgive. Breathe out all of the negativity and feel the burdens fall away as you release the tension within. Another good way of doing that, too, is when you take a shower, imagine all of the negative energy just washing off your body and down the drain. And imagine yourself filling with light and love and peace and happiness and feel it washing over you and allow your muscles to relax as you do this. And it will really, you know, ask for your energy to be protected. It will really help you in being able to stay in your own energy. You may be somebody who has a problem with being around other people because their energies rub off on you because it's like you can just feel them. And then it kind of becomes your own energy and you project it out. You project what others are feeling around you. And protecting your energy like that will keep you from doing that. Follow your intuition, quiet your mind so you can see its guiding light. Yeah, and being able to cut away any of that mental conflict and bring yourself to that state of peace like that will allow you to be able to listen to your intuition as well. It's really hard to hear your intuition above fear or anxiety or hurt or pain or anything of that sort, even overthinking. Things like that really clog up our intuition to where we really cannot hear, think, or see any of that. We have elk and we have spider. So you're somebody who works really hard tirelessly, tirelessly on your goals. You're very dedicated. You're somebody who plans very efficiently. You're somebody who is very stable, strong, grounded, reliable. You have a very masculine, fatherly like energy, you know, and really it could have been could have been somebody who was like a father to you in your life that did this as well. And that's kind of how it happened for me as well with the first one was it was my stepfather it was we finally had a strong stable secure solid home everything looked so good from the outside you know those perfect appearances like that sometimes have so much more decay and rot inside sorry anyway but you're somebody who has a lot of this inner strength this inner stability you're very grounded and solid and reliable dependable loyal you're somebody who really is a very good person you know there is no point in holding on to this poison and letting it hurt you for the rest of your life appreciate yourself for everything you are exactly no wonder i feel like i just want to tell you that i love you you know because sometimes that's really all we need to hear and we need to hear it from ourselves though Look in the mirror and tell yourself, I love you. Until you can look in your eyes and keep looking in your eyes while you're telling yourself that, don't stop. Keep doing it. Appreciate yourself for everything that you are, which includes your past abuse, because without it, you wouldn't be who you are today. You would not be this amazing person. You're an amazing person. And you wouldn't be that without everything that you've been through up to this point. New changes bring blessings. Go with the flow and don't swim upstream. So there's really, too, a need to just be able to release control. 
to just be able to know that you're going on the right path and that everything's happening for a reason. Just being able to enjoy the moment, enjoy the journey, and don't fight all the new changes that are coming in because sometimes they can be very scary. They can really make you think that the worst is coming because things are changing, but no, the worst isn't coming. It's not always bad when things change. When things change, sometimes it's really good. And it looks like you've got some really good changes coming into your life. Releasing the past, granting forgiveness like magic, releasing your burdens and realizing you are love, reliable, hardworking, doing your best, actions build success, responsible actions, perseverance pays off, leaving old views behind and changing your perspectives and taking responsibility for the outcomes in your life. Because you are now in control of your life, no matter what happened in the past. You know, you can't control the external things that happen. You can't control what other people do or what other people say or what other people don't do for that matter. But what you can control, you can control your own reactions to that situation. Your own way that you handle that situation. You can keep your own peace no matter what's going on around you, even if it's hard to do. It just takes a lot of work and it looks like you're somebody who's willing to put that work in, so do it. Birds of a feather flock together. Learning, teaching, inner work is tough but worth it. Overcoming any obstacles, learning and growing, working hard to take a break. Two of a kind. Willing to learn through rest and inner reflection. So you need to take the time to rest. Take the time to really just rest and take care of yourself. And to you've been working hard, so take a break. You know, you've learned so much. And you have taught other people around you so much from what you've been through. You do deserve to take that time and space and that break for yourself, that solitude and peace. Intimacy and creativity, strong and stable, sassy, positive, flirty, fun, love, self, fiery, passionate, spiritual. New projects or ideas, psychic inspirations, caring and nurturing of self and others, and protective, affectionate, and camaraderie. So there's a need here for you to just get out and have fun, to enjoy life, to really find your self-confidence and your self-esteem, to learn what you want in life and to go after it. And to really, you know, a lot of cre a lot of times working on creative projects really helps us to release all of that pent-up negative energy and emotions within us. It helps us to put it all out in that project and then it's gone. It's not in us anymore. It gets us out of gets it out of us. That is a really good thing to do, even if it doesn't always look the best, even if your writings are atrocious and you go back and read them later and you're like, oh my God, what did I write? Because it's so horrible and awful. That is a part of you though, and that needs to come out at times. And the best way to do that is to write it down. And if you feel like burning it afterwards to help it to dissipate, that's a good idea as well. Three of Pentacles, willing to scale any obstacle, actions, thoughts, ideas, balance, giving, receiving, help, or guidance, overcoming challenges and teaching and learning, growing, grounded, stable, strong, rising above all of the obstacles through growth and releasing of past trauma and perseverance. So... Yeah, more teaching and learning here. You know, maybe you're maybe you want to teach others in some manner because of the experiences that you've had. And this is telling you to go after your dreams, to really believe in yourself and to do it. Because you're somebody who has so much amazing knowledge that you and wisdom that you can bring to the table. Believe in it. Able to accomplish anything, knowing your work paid off, eyes on the prize, releasing control, going within to learn and forgive, committed to interdependence, ready to work for it, feeling good about yourself. So yeah, really just being able to know that all of this hard work you're putting in right now on whatever project you're working on or if you're getting ready to start one, all of it will pay off. Even if it takes some time, it always takes time. There's steps and there's, you know, you got to make your goals and then you got to start working on them little by little. And eventually though, it will pay off in a big way because you're somebody who has what it takes to do this, whatever it is. So anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you on your journey, sending you love and light. And if you have any feedback, I'd love to hear it. Or if you'd like to suggest a video type, I'd love to hear that as well. Leave me a comment. Pile three. So we have a couple different ty kinds of abuse here and it could be, you could be going through one or both or it could be, or have been through that or neither, you know, and there might be some other reason you were meant to hear this message or maybe, maybe this reading just isn't for you. So anyway, we have mental and emotional abuse, fear tactics, manipulation, and isolated in fear.
I've been th through some of that myself as well. Your nature used against you, empath. Yeah. Yeah. My mom was good at these ones. Not that she meant to. You know, I love my mom to death. I really, I love my mom to death. But, you know, everybody's doing the best they can with the tools they have. And her childhood was far worse than mine ever could have been. So, you know, live and let live. Forgive. Move forward. You know, I know she loves me. And I love her. But at the same time, I also don't let her treat me that way anymore either. I actually have gotten into a few arguments with her over the last couple years because of things she said to me that I didn't feel were very right. And a lot of times we have a hard time being a doormat for others and whatever emotional crap they want to shove down our throat or any blame they want to place on us because of going through those things as well, you know. And feeling scared and alone and hurt and abandoned and isolated and neglected even sometimes. And when you're an empath, you feel everything so deeply and you just can't understand why anybody would want to hurt anybody like that. And at times if we don't let go of those things though, we start doing that to other people too. And we don't want to hurt the people around us. I know we don't. Because everything we've been through really doesn't... No, I'd never want to I'd never want to put anybody through what I had been through. Although, there's been a couple times in my life where I have hurt people because of my past scars. And I've forgiven myself, too. Because that's all we can do. We learn, we grow, and we move forward every day. And we do the best that we can. And we try to... The understanding of other people's perspectives and where they were coming from and why they were so hurt that they felt they had to hurt us. But that also does not mean that you let anybody in that is going to hurt you either. You know, you got to have those healthy boundaries as well. Empaths have a hard time sometimes having those healthy boundaries because of everything that they've been through and they just want to help everybody. But if people aren't going to treat you right, they should not be allowed in your life, period. Just kind of getting some sage going in here to help clear out the energies of the last reading. It was a pretty heavy one. So these ones are our advice ones for how to deal with what you're going through. Realize we are all doing the best we can with the tools we have. Will help to leave behind the pain caused and help to forgive yourself and others. Forgiveness brings peace. I did not look at these beforehand. I never do. But that is so crazy that that's exactly what I decided to tell you at the beginning of this reading too. That is exactly right. Forgiveness brings peace. Period. And we don't forgive them because what they did was right. We don't forgive them because, you know, we want them back in our lives. We forgive them because we don't want to let that poison steal away all of the joy in our lives for the rest of our lives and we also don't want to steal away other people's joy because of the pain we went through either that's why we forgive sometimes it's hard to see or deal with the truth if others didn't believe it could be because they can't handle the reality this is not your problem you know the truth exactly Sometimes people just cannot accept what they're doing was wrong. And sometimes people cannot accept that other people might actually be horrible people. And, you know, no one's truly a horrible person necessarily. But, you know, sometimes people have a hard time believing that Miss Perfect over there could really be doing such horrible things behind closed doors. You know, some people don't show their true colors to everybody. You know what's true, though. Who, can, who gives a shit what anybody else thinks? Who gives a shit? Nobody. Because you know in your heart, deep down, what is true. You don't need to fight to defend yourself. You don't need to fight to prove your story. You just need to walk away from it and move forward with your head held high, knowing that you're not going to let this happen again, period. That's how I feel about that. <laughs> I've done a lot of that myself though, so don't feel bad if you've done that too, because I've done a lot of ranting and raving and trying so hard to defend myself to people who thought I was a piece of shit. And you know what? I don't care, I don't care anymore. I don't need those people in my life. I need people in my life who see who I am, because I know who I am. I'm an empath and I am somebody, I'm somebody amazing. And I don't need to be part of people's lives if they aren't going to treat me as a decent human being like I would treat them. Sixth ray of devotion. 
The sixth ray of devotion bestows the qualities of persistence, unwavering focus, and intensity of feeling. It's a gift of strength to move mountains with your will for what you love. When the sixth ray of devotion appears, you are being given guidance that even if you do not seem to have much worldly power right now, the power of your beliefs can conquer obstacles. The Archangel Uriel helps you to receive the blessings of the sixth ray now. You are receiving a blessing of the sixth ray of devotion. It's serving your soul growth, and it will help you to develop your faith in your principles and trust in the power of your beliefs. You will be able to recognize and appreciate the extraordinary strength with in you and realize that you have enough willpower to keep working towards your dream, overcoming any obstacles until you are di uh, divinely successful. Sorry, The sixth ray reminds you of the power of love, which can conquer anything, anything and everything, period. That it That is so true, too. And I lost where I was. <laughs> love is an empowering, motivating force far stronger than fear, but only if you don't let the fear get in the way of it, too. Love is the foundation of authentic spiritual devotion. Devotion to the divine empowers us to bear burdens, to overcome obstacles, and to manifest all manner of beautiful visions in a world that may at first assure us that our dream is not possible. And I'll change that myself because I don't think it empowers us to bear burdens. I think it empowers us to shed burdens. Yes, to be able to bear the weight of them, but also to be able to shed them. You have that ability. The sixth ray blesses you with stubborn spiritual or spiritual stubbornness and a sacred rebellion against all odds. Yeah, so you're somebody who's ready to fight to, yeah, I think you fight for yourself and a lot of people. I think you fight for the underdog a lot. The challenge with the sixth ray is not to become so anchored in your beliefs that you become fanatical or judging of others because their beliefs are different. Yep, except everybody else has their own perspectives. And, you know, some you just can't change them sometimes. You can subtly throw in your things, but, you know... They want to believe what they want to believe. And don't worry about it. You can believe what you want to believe. And, you know, as long as they're being respectful of yours, and even if they aren't, just be like, you know, hey, it would be nice if you could be more respectful of my beliefs because I am so respectful of your beliefs. And then they'll shut up because they have nothing else to say after that. And you don't got to say it in a mean way either. And it still gets them to shut up. <laughs> You can be unwavering in your adherence to your beliefs or to your belief system and yet honor the fact that there is many paths to divine union as there are people that the ways of the universe and what it and how it calls you home to love are unlimited.